I would imagine when the baseball players all take the field tomorrow for their first workouts, they're going to like this warm weather. Yeah, they Loosen are. Loosen up a little quicker. It, it you know? will, you know, they'll yeah. get used to the summer-like uh, conditions real yeah. quick. Though. You know, it, it's funny. They can, they can play here during the warm temperatures for the most part, and then they go up north, and they still freeze cold. again. Yeah, yeah, it can get cold up there. <laughs> uh, we still have a, keep your hopes up, we still have a couple weeks left before we're going to get uh, warm for a long duration. So there will be a couple of cold fronts that will come down. The old saying goes, uh, when you see a ring around the sun or moon, you can expect rain real soon. Well, a lot of photos sent in to pics at mysuncoast.com. Tim Addison getting this one. You can see that ring around the sun. It's a 22 degree halo. That's the, again, the circumference around it. Now, again, radius around the sun. And that's the result of the uh, ice crystals aligned in a certain direction in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Carolyn Hill getting that picture as well. We had a lot more sent in. And again, look at this eagle checking out the ospreys at the uh, Spanish point right there. In Osprey, Florida, getting some lunch and catching some fish. And you can see the Casey Key webcam nearby, not too far away from there, catch, catching some sun occasionally. Out on the beaches, so a pretty nice uh, beach day, to, at least in the afternoon. It was kind of cloudy this morning, but uh, boy, the, the sun came out and temperatures warmed up. Old front of body, this past 24 hours, you see it out there over North Florida right now. This cold front hasn't really moved down. It's weakening. There's a few showers earlier this morning and then uh, this afternoon, not much going on at all. Just a few spotty showers. We're getting that east southeasterly wind flow, uh, which shows up every once in a while. A spotty shower. There's some near Northport along I-75. If you uh, happen to be driving along the interstate system in Sarasota or Manatee counties, you may run into a brief shower or two. It won't be around long as they're moving to the northwest and they're really very light. And you can see that general direction off to the west northwest at this point. Uh, nothing going on right now in Manatee County, but as I said, there's a very small chance that you may see a few light showers around uh, through this evening. Well, Futurecast GFS is showing what's going on from Thursday now. This is from Thursday onward. You can see this front coming down. I wanted to show you that because this front just falls apart for the weekend. So the weekend is looking good. Front kind of hangs off to the north of us. Some of the clouds eventually move in on Sunday to North Florida, but not a lot for us. We stay under that influence of a large dome of high pressure which is located not just at the surface, but in the upper levels of the atmosphere in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's kind of blocking anything from getting in. And it doesn't appear that things are going to change much uh, through the weekend and beyond. Well, New Orleans, Fat Tuesday, they're celebrating there this evening. And it looks like it's going to be okay weather-wise. There's some showers well west. I don't think they'll have much time getting in there into New Orleans uh, before uh, the uh, party ends. Uh, evening planner looks like this, 71 degrees at 11 o'clock and it looks like we'll see some clouds around but uh, no real threat of any significant rainfall. 82 right now, some high clouds moving in. The dew point has really dropped. In fact, it dropped over 11 degrees in just an hour due to that wind shift change out of the east northeast at 7 and the high today that did not drop. 83, 10 degrees above average. Current fog conditions, maybe a little fog offshore, but not much. We are anticipating some fog developing, though, and it could be rather thick, too, uh, just after midnight, and especially in South Sarasota County, at least this model depicting that. It's not going to be everywhere, but it could be rather thick in some places. 82 still here, 54 in Jacksonville, 79 in Miami, and temperatures into the mid to upper 70s, even some low 70s in Inglewood now at 73. The Gulf water temperature warm at 74 degrees for this time of year, which is uh, pretty surprising. Well, here's the seven day forecast then. just a slight chance for a shower Wednesday and Thursday. Boating looks good tomorrow. Uh, 82 for the high on Thursday. Temperatures a little bit cooler, maybe a little drier air moves in on Saturday and Sunday, but makes for a great weekend and uh, looks like uh, early next week things stay pretty quiet and warm.